An inquiry into the fire at Grenfell Tower has seen the first thermal images from firefighters as they entered the flat where the blaze began. Sky's Ashish Joshi is out there here in, in central London and joins us live. Uh, and Ashish, talk us through these images. We've been hearing evidence from Professor Neve Nick Dage. She's one of the country's leading fire investigators. She has been attached to the Grenfell Inquiry since about November last year, and she spent the last seven months poring over all the evidence that's been gathered from witnesses and videos and photographs and firefighters' statements and putting it all together. She's trying to determine exactly where the fire started and how it started and later dealing with the spread of the fire. So she's dealing at the, the forensic level. And she went into a lot of detail today, but this is the first time we've seen these thermal imaging recordings which are captured by body cameras worn by the firefighters who entered into Grenfell Tower. There were two that entered into flat 16 on the fourth floor and they were wearing these cameras and I will put together the timeline, the sequence of events that shows you these firefighters as they made their way through this flat 16 on the fourth floor. It starts at seven minutes past one. You see the firemen entering flat 16 and you can see one of the firefighters actually breaking down the door. This is about 13 minutes after that first 999 call was made to the emergency services. I should warn you now that the next image contains an image of the fire from the night. This is to show the exact correlation of what the firefighters were seeing inside the flat and how the fire was spreading around the building. This is in real time. The two have been matched up. So we see the firefighters moving down the hallway and searching other rooms, including the two bedrooms. Mr. Kabedi, the owner or the resident of that flat shared this flat with two women they slept in separate bedrooms he slept on a mattress in the lounge this also shows the tower on the fire as it spread a lot the fire on the tower as it spread and that side panel you can see the next clip this is at 14 minutes past one the firefighters then enter the kitchen for the first time the yellow glow that you can see is the fire by the window the firefighters put water on the fire you can actually see the hose. Then they close the door and they reopen the door again about 10 seconds later to see that the fire is still there. Then they begin to discuss tactics. The next clip at 20 minutes past one, the firefighters enter the kitchen again and go right inside and extinguish the fire that was in around the fridge freezer. In the last clip, you can see that once the fire is extinguished, you can see out of the window and you can see aspects of the cladding falling down. You can also see the cooker, the fridge freezer with the top door missing and the bottom door open, the toaster, the knife set, the draining rack in the kitchen and all the other appliances. In her conclusion, Professor Neve McDade said she could say with certainty that we now know that the fire started on the fourth floor in flat 16. We also know that it started in the kitchen, in the southeast corner of the kitchen. But then she said, I still don't know what the cause of the fire is. We know it's in and around the fridge freezer. We know that because the laminated floor under the appliance was scorched and the, the way that fire travels, it marks sections of the walls and the floors and you can see where the fire starts and how it spreads. She has asked for further forensic analysis of the appliances themselves.